Good afternoon. I'm Chanika from Polvea Pottery. Uh, this is the Chromati uh, 135 uh, workhorse kiln here. Uh, this is uh, the kiln that I intended to keep for myself, for my future studio. Um, but unfortunately, my studio is not going to be built anytime soon, as I thought it would be. So this kiln was... Um, disconnected about uh, two years ago when I bought it from a lady uh, and uh, until then it was fully working for earthenware temperatures. This was manufactured in 2003 as the label says, uh, 9 kilowatt. Just before I bought it she has fully reconditioned it and engineer serviced it as well, fires to maximum temperature of 1300 degrees Celsius. Um, this is the cut-off switch, lid cut-off switch. Because of it had to be removed, uh, I mean taken down from um, from uh, uh, stairs, upstairs, third floor, I think. Uh, they had to remove the lid. All the ball, this is the lid removed here. As you can see, the lid is here. Um, it's all in mint condition. No cracks at all. As I said, she used it only for earthenware temperatures. That's why it's in absolutely mint condition. No rust, no cracks. Just a tiny stain mark here. That I just don't have a cloth to wipe it or clean here. Because this is sitting in my garage. I, I wanted to keep this for my studio. But my studio is not built at all. Or nowhere, nowhere nearly. I'm nowhere nearly ready to use this at all. So it's a, it's a pity to keep the kiln um, sit idle here for years you know so i thought i should um, just uh, let it go to a person who would uh, really use it so this is a hand lever which is all wrapped up still this is uh, this is still sit been sitting here for about two years now uh, since the day it was brought here this is the hand lever that has been removed and these are all the screws in this box here i don't really want to open it and uh, you will have to buy a controller for yourself because the original controller was a chromati h h1 so uh, i i um, i think i threw it away because of uh, i don't like them controllers not very good so this is uh, this this kiln is single phase okay so it's a uh, earth, earth wire neutral and live and there's a little uh, crumbling here but it's it's only slightly the 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 bricks are all solid okay and the elements as i said she reconditioned it with the her engineer reconditioned it before I bought it. So it's all all uh, in very good condition elements. Not broken or rusty or anything like that. But here, as you can see, uh, one brick cracked. So this will need to be re-cemented if you like it. Or just you can just pin the element in. Oh, it's raining. Oh, no. Yeah, so this is the overall condition of the uh, kiln. It's a little bit dusty. As you can see, it's in mint condition. Really, really beautiful. It's a, it's a very sad uh, that I, I have to sell it. But what can I do? I don't. I, it's not getting used at all. You see, so it's just no point me keeping keeping it. I do have another one. So this is the condition of the kiln. So please buy it only if you have the supply. It will need um, fifty amps spur dedicated supply to use it so um, it says here i will have to turn him around for you to see the chromatic label oh, no. here we go if you can see the chromatic label chromatic this is made by chromatic okay and it is in absolutely spanking condition it's really beautiful lovely kiln unfortunately uh, I will have to let it go. There's a duct pipe here if you want to put a, a extractor pipe. And it's on wheels as well. Uh, heavy duty tires. And you will need a large size van to collect this. Because it will not fit in my van there. It will not fit in there. You will need a massive van. I mean a transporter might be able to do, collect it. And some, some strong men to lift it. Because I will not be able to help. It's too heavy. It's very very heavy indeed and solid solidly built stainless steel case kiln that will last you forever in fact uh, you need to go inside please go inside thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please do let me know
Migo. Thank you. Bye bye.